I'm Timothy Madden, and on behalf of Springfield Archery, I'm going to be going over and explaining some different styles of cams that you find on today's compound bows. I'm going to explain some advantages, disadvantages, and uh, different companies that prefer to use certain cam styles. To better understand these different types of cam systems, um, I drew this spreadsheet here. So we've got our compound bow as we know it today. Uh, branched off to the left here, I've got the single cams. The single cam is kind of in a category all itself. It's technically only got one true cam. Over here, you've got your dual cam, top and bottom, both are cams. That's split up into three different branches. You got your hybrid cam, which I would argue is most predominant in today's industry. Then you've got your twin cam, which is really common in uh, youth bows, adjustable bows. It's also common in some other types of bows as we'll show here in a second. And then you've also got your binary cam system. So those are all your three dual cams and your single cam over here. Now that we've got that figured out, I'm gonna go over a couple differences as far as strings and cables go, because that's super important in the different styles of cams. So I've got the 2016 Hoyt Defiant here with me. I went ahead and chose this bow because this particular bow is a hybrid cam system. I'm gonna get into more of that here in just a second, but I chose a hybrid cam system because it utilizes all three types of strings I'm gonna talk about here. So you've got your bow string. Everybody's pretty familiar with the bow string. It's what you knock your arrow on, release, de-loop, peep, everything on your bow string. Then you've got two different styles of cables. You've got what's called a bus cable. The easiest way to identify a bus cable is a bus cable always has these yokes. Typically they're gonna anchor to the outside of the limb tips, just like this. Um, and that's always referred to as the bus cable. Your control cable on the other hand looks just like a shorter bow string. Um, it's just got two standard loops connecting both cams, slaving them together. So now that we know how to identify the different types of strings and cables, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the single cam bow. Uh, this bow, like I said earlier, only has one cam. It's got one string and one bus cable. This one string is a continuous string that goes up and around what we refer to as the idler wheel, which is the round wheel at the top. Comes back down and links back into the cam. Then you've got your one bus cable doing as it should with the yokes connecting to the tips of the limbs all the way back down into the cam. Now a little history of far, as far as a single cam goes. Uh, a lot of people think that Matthews invented the single cam uh, and they, they, they use the single cam in the way that we refer to it as today as in the three track single cam. Essentially you've got a track for your string coming off to your D-loop, a track for, your, track for your string coming off to your idler wheel or coming back from your idler wheel and then a track for your cable. I'm putting those wrong, but um, the first in fact single cam bow was the Dyna bow uh, marketed by Graham Archery in 1978. It was actually a single cam on bottom and a recurve traditional limb on top. Uh, but obviously we don't see those in today's industry. So most people refer to it as the first single cam as in 1992 uh, when Matthews introduced their solo cam. Uh, very similar. Single cams are known to be super smooth. That's just what they've come to be known as. Uh, they've also been known to be easy to maintain. Uh, I don't necessarily believe that to be true. Uh, where they're coming from with that is a single cam isn't as picky about timing. You don't have perfect knock travel anyway with a single cam. So a lot of people aren't too concerned about the timing. That's why a timing mark on a single cam is usually a range you've got two marks that your cable should run between on most bow models. Um, however, a slight change in the length of your string or cable can very easily affect your knock height, therefore flowing, uh, throwing off your level arrow as far as in correlation to your rest. So it's got its advantages and disadvantages. Um, the, definitely the biggest uh, single cam seller on the market is Matthews. They've kind of been known to have that industry. Uh, their solo cam, Matthews solo cam. So, but that's a look at the single cam. Remember, one long continuous string, one bus cable. Next on the list is the hybrid cam. I went ahead and I grabbed that uh, Hoyt Defiant again. Like I said earlier, it utilizes all three strings and cables. It's got the bow string, your bus cable, and your control cable. Uh, the hybrid cam system kind of became popular when Darton uh, came out with their CPS cam system. Uh, but it was really blew up when Hoyt came out with their cam and a half system in 2003. And 
That is oftentimes what this hybrid cam system is referred to as. It's referred to as the cam and a half system. Um, it's kind of like calling a tissue a Kleenex. Kleenex is a brand name, um, whereas a tissue is what it is. So this is a hybrid cam system. Um, basically, your hybrid cam system, because you have a bus cable and a control cable, they are different lengths. That can result in some timing issues if your strings, for whatever reason, stretch. That's not super common to see a whole lot of stretch though in today's string materials. Um, however, that is something to consider. They are known to be fairly quick um, and efficient. Not necessarily considered to be the smoothest cam system. However, PSC does have their hybrid system now with almost the top cable track is almost as if it's on an idler wheel. So those are considered to be smoother. Uh, again, these are just personal preferences, what you're going to hear online, anywhere else. Um, but they are. They're quick bow, efficient, and very common in today's market uh, amongst Hoyt and PSC bows. Next on the list is the twin cam system. This particular Bowtech VTX possesses this cam system. The easiest way to identify it is the yokes. They'll have a yoke on top, going to the limb tips, and on bottom. Um, basically, this is the most common mistaken cam system. Uh, you hear it called the binary, a binary a lot. Uh, unfortunately, I think that's because Bowtech labels this right on the cam, overdrive binary. Um, unfortunately, they're allowed to do that because they do own the patent on it. However, this is a twin cam system. Um, these bows, this type of cam is very common in youth bows. Uh, Diamond uses it a lot and uh, their Atomic, the Infinite Edge Pro, and Bowtech uses it a lot as well on their higher end bows, some of them. Uh, but great cam system, known to have a solid back wall even though it's only using cable stops. The last cam system I'm gonna be going over is the binary cam system. Uh, this cam system use a lot, utilizes two control cables as well as the bow string. There's two different options uh, as far as binary cams go, you've got your two track and your three track. Two tracks are real common amongst like the elites. Uh, three track on the other hand is used by Bowtech. Uh, technically, technically the prime is a three track even though in theory it's a two track. I'll go over that here in just a little bit. I'm actually going to be, I'm actually planning on making a video going over the prime cam in particular. Um, however, these are really, really becoming pretty popular. Uh, They've got a super solid back wall. Most of them use limb stops, um, which is mostly why they've got such a solid back wall. Uh, just an enjoyable bow to shoot, known to be really quiet, really smooth. Uh, it was first brought into the market in 2005 by Bowtech. Bowtech then got their patent for it in 2007. Uh, just known to be a great shooting bow. Uh, the cables are both the same exact length. So in theory, they should stretch the same. Therefore, you won't have a whole lot of timing issues, uh, less maintenance. However, no true, uh, no true compound bow is maintenance free. Um, but just great shooting bow, very popular, uh, and really starting to hit the market hard. So in recap, obviously all their bows, cam systems had bow strings. So check all those off. Single cam had one bus cable and zero control cables. The hybrid cam system had one of each. It had one bus cable and one control cable. The twin cam had two bus cables and zero control cables. And the binary cam system had two control cables and zero bus cables. So now that should clear up a lot of the misconceptions, uh, a lot of the miscommunications. Uh, everybody should now know what a single cam, hybrid cam, twin cam, and binary cam system are. Uh, if you got any more questions, go ahead and leave a comment, like, subscribe, comment on any other videos you'd like to see. Uh, we're breaking it down and trying to make it simple.